how many of us have seen the FEMA camp videos wherein the one making the video always claims to have proof from multiple sources, yet never once do they share a single valid source? And so my obvious question is, why are people so fearful about such invalidated claims? And, and no, I'm not saying all the videos are false. I mean, many are, but not all. And anyone with brains knows the government is corrupt, and most Christians know the mark is about to be enforced. But I am saying the fear cultivated by those videos, as well as the fear of the mark, is in fact generated by Satan. In fact, it was actually prophesied to be this way right before the end. Biblical reality is this. Satan is the most fearful being in the universe. Not only does he flee in abject terror when an obedient Christian demands he get away from them, he knows his time is short wherein he will soon die in a very graphic manner. And so anyone bowing to his lies will become just as fearful because the one you emulate is the one you trust. I mean, have you ever searched for the words good courage in your Bibles? It shows up every time the people of God were to head out to war or have a major trial designed to both bolster their faith as well as glorify the Lord. Well, guess what, brothers and sisters? Not only do we have many trials designed to do the same, we are also in a holy war as we speak. Satan knows, however, if he can get us to believe his lies over the promises of the Lord to make us fearful, he can defeat us and make us all fall on the battlefield so that his numbers in hellfire grow. Yeah, according to the Bible, only the lost will be fearful because only the lost refuse to accept Jesus as Lord, who promises them perfect peace in these trying times. The prophecy found in Luke 21, 26 says that right before Jesus returns, men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear because they're looking after those things that are coming on the earth and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You know, an obedient Christian not only knows what time it is, they have perfect peace and joy deep within knowing their Lord, their King, their Savior is soon to return. And that makes their joy go right off the chart. Obedient Christians know the promises of God are for them and them alone. Well, except the promise of damnation, of course, but that too is a promise, but only for the fearful, because it says clearly in Revelation 21 verse 8, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So why does it say the fearful go to hell though? Well, think about the basic reality behind that statement for a moment. Why would Jesus allow those that trust Satan's lies into his kingdom when his kingdom is based on truth? Only those that worship and obey Jesus enter into New Jerusalem. Hence the reason Revelation 22, 14 was penned, which says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And that city is New Jerusalem, or heaven as most call it. When you really accept Jesus as Lord, wherein you allow him to write his law upon your hearts, as he promises to do, because mankind proved at Mount Sinai, man can't keep the law of God unless God helps them. And so he promised to write it on our hearts. But the only way to get it written there is to really accept Jesus as Lord. And when you do that, all that fear is gone because you know who the author of fear is now. The reason the lost keep getting so fearful is because they are the ones giving Satan permission to give them his fear. And yes, I know the planet has billions of people claiming to be Christians out there, yet they still have fear. But that's because they are disobedient Christians. All of them break the Sabbath each week or smoke or drink or lie or cheat or commit many other sinful acts, proving the only offer Jesus lip service while reveling in the lusts of the flesh. And so Satan has permission to be in their lives, which is why they still have fear while claiming to be Christians. You know, it's all about who you trust, the peace and truth of Jesus or the fear and lies of Satan. Having fear confirms the person does not have faith in Jesus. That fear proves they only have faith in Satan, because he's the one that gives the fear. They can't hear the voice of the good shepherd because they are accustomed to the voice of the wolf. And this is why they won't gain heaven. Only those that trust Jesus will live with Jesus for eternity. And those that trust Satan will die with Satan for eternity. And yes, this is why Roman Catholicism has invented everything from purgatory to eternal life and hellfire. And that only makes God look like a tyrant. It makes the people fearful when there is no such thing as purgatory and there is no such thing as eternal life in hellfire. 
The wages of sin is death, not eternal life. I got a page on the website all about that if you want to check it out. But all the promises in the Bible that speak of wonderful things are only for the obedient Christian. And one of those promises is found in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which speaks of the Christian who is tempted to fear. They are granted perfect peace, knowing that God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And since we know God is not the one that gives fear because we're using a sound mind to figure that one out, when fear appears, well, then we actually know who's offering it. It's coming from Satan. And so rebuke him as only an obedient Christian can. Jesus said in John 14, verse 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And then he finishes by saying, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So you need to ask yourself a very important question. Who do you believe? Satan, who is the father of lies? Or Jesus, who is the author of truth? Thank you for watching. God bless.